everybody. Welcome back to Jones Stadium. It is time, don't you think, for Texas Tech to get back on the right track after having a week off after the debacle at North Carolina State. Beautiful day at Jones Stadium. 75 degrees and not many clouds in the sky. John Davis with the kickoff. And SMU will take over first and 10 at the 20. Shepard up the middle. He stopped after a gain of three by Lissio and Dias. Make it second and seven. Shepard is tripped up by Harry Dias. Loss of four in the backfield. That makes it third and 11. Dan Freiberger wants to throw. He does complete to Barry, but only for a gain of 10. So the Ponies have to punt. Israel puts his toe to the ball. Marcus Coleman deep. He lets it bounce, and SMU downs it at the Texas Tech 15. Let's go to second and seven from the 18. The Bammer picks up six. He had 175 yards rushing on the day. Two plays later, Robert Hall straight back to pass with the screen, gain of 10. Three plays later, Robert again wants to throw, looks, throws. Ball is intercepted at the 40-yard line by Butler of SMU. And he goes the distance, 62 yards. Just like that, SMU jumps out in front. Ponies go for the extra point. Ball is fumbled, and Quincy White takes care of SMU. However, the Ponies, with 10.50 left in the first quarter, are on top. After the kickoff, Classical Freeman of Fort Worth comes in. He gains five, second and five. Robert on the keeper, breaks the containment. Gets up the sidelines, over the 40, out at the 44. First and 10 from that point, Robert complete in the flat to Darrell Mitchell, good for a gain of six. Three plays later, second and 10 from the SMU 43. Bruce Hill up the middle, he picks up six. And on third and four, Robert, well, there's a bad pitch again to Classical Freeman, and SMU again comes up with the football. Let's go to second and five from the 40. Freiberger rolls right, throws complete to Baird. He's knocked out of bounds by Tracy Saul after a gain of 12. First and 10 from the 48. Shepard delay handoff. Mike Lissio finally pulls him down after a gain of 13. SMU on the roll. Reverse, Jason Wolf. He's in trouble. Kirkpatrick and Jackson on the play. Steve Hoffman was injured on the play, and he had to leave the game. Let's move to third and nine. Freiberger wide open in the end zone is Hill. 19-yard touchdown. 65-yard drive, seventh place. SMU 13. Texas Tech nothing. Stewart kicks off for uh, SMU, and guess what? Things continue to turn to peanut butter for Texas Tech. That was Donald Marshall on the uh, kickoff return. First and 10 from the 17. The Bammer gets the call, and he picks up 11 before he runs over a couple of guys. Two plays later, second and eight from the 30. Robert wants to throw, does screen pass Bruce Hill. Bruce is going to pick up 21 on some great second effort. First and 10 at the SMU 49. The Bammer gets the call. And he is going to get nine. Look at those stiff arms. Let's move it to second and one from the 40. Robert throws over the middle to Scott Ayler. Good, 13. First and 10 from the 27. Hill in motion, draw play to the Bammer. He's over the 20. He's at the 15, the 10 stiff arms. Just knocked out at the one yard line. First and goal from the one. Bammer gets the pitch, he gets the touchdown. 87 yard drive, seventh place, took two minutes, 37 seconds. John Davis extra point, and that cuts the margin to six. 13 to seven SMU. Let's go after the kickoff. Freiberger wants to throw, does complete to the boss. Gain of 12. Two plays later, first and one after a penalty. Wolf tries the reverse, but he's in trouble. Sean Jackson, loss of eight. Second and nine now. Freiberger completing the right flat to the boss. Loss of one, good defense. Third and 10 from the 32. Freiberger wants to throw. He's in trouble, spins, gets the ball away to Wolf. What a nice play there. Knocked down by Armour, gain of 13. 
Two plays later, first and 15, following a penalty. Shepard Corral, Jackson and Armour, loss of three. That's the end of the first quarter, but a surprising one as SMU stays on top, 13 to seven. Well, the Ponies have to punt to open the second quarter. Israel does, it's a good one. Marcus Coleman fields it, drops it, tackle, ball's free. SMU recovers at the one yard line. Look at this defense. Flyberger sneaks, stop, short. Mike Lissio tackles. Second and goal from the one. Flyberger sneaks, stops, short. That brings up third and goal from the one. Flyberger sneaks in, touchdown. One yard drive, three plays. Took a minute and 20. The extra point was blocked by Marcus Coleman. Anthony Wiley picks it up. He may go, but he's knocked down on the extra point try. However, SMU on top, 19 to seven. Following the kickoff, here come the Raiders. Bruce Hill up the middle again, six, second and four now. Robert wants to throw, does. Lloyd over the middle, good. Gain of 15, two plays later. Second and 10 from the 45. Bruce Hill gets the draw, he's in trouble. He loses three. Bring up third and 13 from the 42. Robert wants to throw, does over the middle. Intended for Mitchell. Intercepted by Corey Brabham of Hughes Springs. What a player this kid is, not only on the field, but academically. SMU turns it right back. Freiberger throws, intercepted. Tracy Saul with his 23rd interception of his career. 13 days ago, he had knee surgery. Let's go to first and 10 at the 48. Donald Marshall on the reverse. He has lots of running room. He's across midfield, the 40. Cuts back the 35, the 30, down to the 25-yard line. Robert Hall was injured on the play. At this point in time, they say it is a bruised collarbone. Will be a day-to-day -day thing. Jason Clements from New Mexico comes in at quarterback. He rolls right, flips the ball out. Lloyd Hill's there. He's at the 10-5 touchdown. Not a bad play for Jason Clemens. First play in, and Lloyd Hill turns it into a touchdown. 52-yard drive, took two plays and 30 seconds. John Davis, extra point. Texas Tech now 14, but SMU still there at 19. Davis kicks off for the Raiders. Wolf and Baird deep. Baird takes it at the eight. He gets across to the 23. First and 10 ponies at the 23. Freiberger wants to throw. He's in trouble, flushed out. Gonna be knocked down by Armour. Gain of one on the play. Two plays later, third and nine from the 24. Freiberger wants to throw. Complete, good catch. Ball is uh, carried up the field by DeVos as he makes a great play. Tracy Saul finally knocks him out after a gain of 33. Two plays later, second and 10 from the 43. Shepard quick draw, Mike Lissio with the tackle. Personal foul, Texas Tech on the play. Two plays later from the 27. Freiberger rolls left. Complete to Wolf. Gonna be knocked out of bounds by Anthony Wiley after a gain of 16. Two plays later, second and 10 from the 11. Shepard upended in the backfield by Stephen Gaines. Loss of two. Two plays later, fourth and nine. Anderson comes in, kicks the field goal. It is good. Six minutes, 54 seconds left in the first half. SMU 22, Texas Tech 14. Stewart kicks off for the Ponies. Ball is taken by Darrell Mitchell. He finds the sidelines, gets across the 20, the 25, up to the 28. Let's go to second and eight from the 33. The Bammer on the delay. He gains six. Third and two from the 39. Again, Byron Morris gets the call. He gains six and the first down. First and 10 from the 45. Jason Clemens wants to throw. Nice check off, finds his secondary receiver, Don Hasley. That good for a gain of seven. Move it to uh, second and three now from the 48. Clemens rolls left, decides to throw. There's Lloyd Hill, good! Gain of 31. Four plays later, down to third and one from the SMU eight after a penalty. The Bammer takes the pitch right, and he's gonna lunge for a gain of three and a first down. First and goal from the SMU five now. 
The Bama gets the call. Great fake by Clemens. Goes up the middle. Gain of four. Two plays later. Second and six. Jason rolls left. Throws. Byron Miles in the end zone. Touchdown. His first of the year. Texas Tech. 69 yards. Ten plays. Celebration on the sideline. Extra point was no good. Tech within two at 22 to 20. But look at this. John Davis pooches it downfield. Jason Wolf. Comes up with the football. He's straight up the field. He's over midfield, maybe gone. Knocked out of bounds by Donnie Brooks. That was a 56-yard kickoff return. Let's go two plays later. Second and four from the 27. Freiberger in trouble. Sacked Harry Dias. Loss of six. Third and 10 from the 33. Freiberger throwing for Barry. Pass down the middle. Intercepted. Tracy Saul, 24th interception of his career, sixth on the all-time NCAA list. That's the way it ended at halftime, SMU 22, Tech 20. to play Texas Tech trying to get some momentum started they accept the kick Kirby Adams receives the kickoff he goes from the one slammed hard out to the 21 let's go to third and eight from the 23 Jason Clemens to pass he's flushed out finally knocked down after a gain of five that brings on Robert King to punt and he does the job 54 yards on the punt fielded by Mick Wosley and he's going to be knocked down <laughs> little dance steps there and he loses five good punt coverage first and ten from the SMU 13 Shepard right in he picks up six before he's knocked down by Marcus Coleman and Mike Lissio two plays later first and ten from the 23 Shepard quick draw there's Mike Lissio and Quincy White gain of seven second and three now from the SMU 30 Flyberger He's going to be sacked by Chris or a loss of five right there. Make it third and eight from the SMU 25. Freiberger again wants to pass, throws, complete to Beard over the middle. Marcus Coleman with the tackle finally gain of 24. First and 10 from the 49. Freiberger audibles, Baird has the catch. Going to be a gain of 19 before Quincy White comes up with the tackle. First and 10 from the 32. Shepard stacked up. Great play. John Pitts, loss of three. Tracy Saul injured, had to leave the game. Second and 13 from the 35. Freiberger complete to Wolf along the left sidelines. Gain of 20. Two plays later, second and five from the 10. Freiberger throwing for Barry. Broken up there at the goal line by Anthony Wiley. Third and five from the 10. Freiberger wants to throw. Now he's in trouble. Now he scrambles. Finally, run out of bounds by Ben Kirkpatrick. That brings up fourth and five from the 10. Anderson comes in, field goal up, good. 77-yard drive, 12 plays. SMU 25, Texas Tech 20. Let's go to third and seven from the 23. Clemens, great pass to Scott Ayler, good for a gain of 11. That gave them the first down. Let's go two plays later, second and 10 from the 34. Clemens wants to pass over the middle. Lloyd Hill catches. Makes a move, gets outside, good for a gain of 20. First and 10 from the SMU 46. The Bammer has the ball, heads right, makes a couple of moves, stiff arm. No, he got the face mask, gain of 30 yards, but the Bammer got the penalty for a 15-yard face mask penalty. Two plays later, second and eight, Clemens complete, left sideline, Lloyd Hill. Lloyd had seven catches for 108 yards on the day. That good for a gain of seven. John Davis tries the field goal. It's no good. However, SMU guilty of roughing the kicker. That gave Texas Tech a first down. Let's go to third and four from the SMU four. Clemens wants to pass. Rolls right. Throws. Great catch. Lloyd Hill corner of the end zone. Four-yard touchdown play. 80 yards, 16 plays. Tech going for two now. Morris. Gets the pitch right. Going to be stopped just short. 
Texas Tech, however, takes the lead 26, 25, 325 left in the third quarter. John Davis kicks off. Beard fields the ball at the seven, returns for 16 out to the 23. Three minutes, 20 seconds left in the third quarter. First and 10 from the 23. Freiberger throws. Good. Gain of nine to Wolf. Three plays later, second and 10 from the 33. Freiberger pressured. He's going to be sacked by Sean Jackson. That for a loss of six. Third and 16. From the 27th, Freiberger throws over the middle, complete to Baird. Good, only for a gain of 10. SMU having to punt, facing fourth and six at the 37th. Israel comes in to punt, puts his toe to it. Marcus Coleman fields it at the 20. He's at the 25, finds the sideline, the 40, 45, midfield, up over the 40-yard line. Marcus Coleman, the freshman from Lake Highlands in Richardson. Two plays later, Classical Freeman over right tackle. Good for a gain of 11. First and 10 at the SMU 25. Freeman left, gain of seven. Behind good blocking inside the 20. Second and three from the 18. Freeman left tackle, moves the pile. Good for a gain of eight. That's the end of the third quarter. Texas Tech 26, SMU 25. Let's go to third and five from the SMU five. Clemens rolls right. He's in trouble. Now sacked by Patton. Loss of 14. That brings on John Davis on a fourth and 19. Davis, 37-yard field goal, kick high and good. Texas Tech, 29. SMU 25, 17 yards, eight plays. Now let's go to SMU. Second and 12 from the 18. Freiberger complete to Baird. Ben Kirkpatrick with the tackle, gain of 11. Two plays later, first and 10 from the 31. Shepard tries the right side. Mike Lissio, the first man there, loss of one. Second and 11 now from the 30. Freiberger in trouble. Mike Lissio hits him. Ball is free, ruled incomplete, but good pressure there by Tech. Third and 11 from the 30. Watch this crazy play. Freiberger wants to throw. He's hit. The ball rolls free. It's in the end zone. Picked up back there by Wolf. He's in trouble. Sean Jackson back there. Is it a safety? No ball ruled down at the one foot line. SMU elects to take a safety and put the ball in the air. So they give up the two points. SMU trails now 31 to 25. Israel free kick for the ponies. Puts the ball in play. Fielded by Mitchell at the 25. He finds the sideline. He's across the 40-45 midfield before he's knocked down. First and 10 from the 47. Bam Morris takes the pitch left. He gains five. Second and five from the 42. Morris, same play. Finds the sideline, cuts back, makes a good move inside the 20. He's at the 15 before he's knocked out of bounds. First, uh, let's go to third and eight now from the SMU 14. Clemens wants to pass, pulls it down. Now he scrambles. He's at the 15, the 10, lunges for the first down just short right there. He did get the first down, however, on first and six. Freeman straight ahead, gain of four, two plays later, third and two. The Bammer gets the pitch behind good blocking. He's into the end zone, balls free, but he broke the plane. Texas Tech goes for two. Clemens, again, back to Morris. He's over two points. 47 yards, eight plays. Texas Tech, 39, SMU 25. Thought we would close out the ball game by showing you some defense. By the way, Texas Tech held SMU to a minus 13 yards rushing for the entire ball game. Here's Freiberger wanting to throw. He's sacked by Harry Dias, loss of seven. Later in the ball game, Freiberger wants to throw. He's sacked by Harry Dias, loss of seven. On the next play, Freiberger wants to throw. Ball is broken up there by Anthony Wiley and Marcus Coleman. On the very next play, facing third and 17, Freiberger sacked Sean Jackson, loss of five. And on fourth down, Freiberger wants to throw. He's going to be sacked again by Sean Jackson. Loss of two. Texas Tech 
back in the win column, beating SMU 39-25. Now let's go to the locker room. Oh yeah, I guess winning ugly, but I'll never complain about winning. The uh, if you don't play good, you lose today. We uh, Murphy's Law looked like it hit us early, and uh, a lot of a lot of things that we did were were foolish, and a lot of things we did were untimely. And but most of the time, uh, good teams find a way to win, and I hope that's the scenario today. Uh, you know, the team we play today, SMU, is uh, they've got good players. They've got a uh, got a prolific offense. Their defense is highly ranked in the conference. And our guys just, uh, I thought they did a good job. I thought they hung in there and they uh, they really did keep their head up. Came at the half and, you know, we're down. And, uh, shoot, there wasn't any doubt, I don't think. I don't think they ever doubted anything. They believed in each other. They pulled for each other. And, you know, we lost Robert Holler in the game. And Jason went in and did an outstanding job. Thought all of our guys just said, okay, Jason, let's go. And they sensed it up another notch and went to town. And and uh, defensively, the same thing. We lose both nose tackles in the first quarter. Uh, lose Tracy again. You know, he hurt his other leg a little bit. And uh, and I'll be darned if everybody doesn't just sort of double up and catch up and play well together. And, uh, you know, we played, we had some great, great defensive plays today considering the field position that that defense had to play all day that's the best defensive game we've played in years and uh, I guess a team that's really been darn good on offense uh, we were just happy to get the win it was pretty ugly uh, first half was real ugly but you know we just grouped up at halftime and and said you know we got 30 more minutes to go win a football game and let's let's go do it and and that's what we uh, concentrated on doing how improved how much was it how much was caused by their improvement Oh, they they have improved tremendously since last year. But uh, you know, I think the first half we just we just let them stay in the ball game. You know, they got a lot of big breaks and and they stayed in the ball game by that. And and when you give a team like that confidence, you know, they're gonna they're gonna play you to death. And that's what happened the first half. Well, you know, we always talk about that the chances you know somebody can get hurt, and when your numbers call, you got to answer the bell. So Jason did a good job, and you know we. Rob works first offense, and, and, but when practice, we all switch, switch it in that. He works first and Rob works second. So, you know, we, we got to feel for Jason, and Jason had to feel for us. And, you know, offense get, kept it going. They was blocking well, and uh, we just gave Jason time to throw the ball, and he did a good job. Well, you know, I've been preparing for it all season, and, and Robert's had some injuries, and we've got a lot of extra practice time in. And uh, you just you have to be ready for it. And when your number's called, it's just time to go play. And, and today it happened. And, and the team got together, and they realized that we, you know, when we when you lose your leader, you you kind of need to everybody got to pull up the slack, and uh, and today we did, and, and things worked out good. It had to help the confidence going in right off the bat, band touchdown. I I don't yeah it did a lot. Um, I think it helped my confidence as much as the team's confidence. I don't really know, SMU was uh, expecting it. It was it, Bud was wide open, and uh, I about lost the grip on the ball, and I'm just glad I got it out to him. He made a good move after he caught the ball. Still obviously shaky game. Well, we knew we, what we had to do. We were making big mistakes, and, and we were stopping ourselves, and, and that's just been our problem all year, really. I mean, the only time we – A&M kind of stopped us a few times, but uh, besides that, when, when we execute the offense that we're like we're supposed to, then, and, then we're successful, and that's what we talked about at halftime. Seems like second string quarterbacks say almost to a man that the one thing they always do is imagine what it would be like when you finally go in, you know, real game situation. Did you play as well as you'd like to play now to have a time to put back? Well, we won the game and that's that's the important thing. Um you know, I've been playing football my whole life, and it's and it's just right at this point I have a role on this team, and, and that's to back up Robert. And, and today he he went down, and, and I had to step up. And but uh, you know the, the team came together, and, and the well the way we ran our offense, we we kind of were a little bit conservative, and uh, we started driving the ball on them, and, and the backs were running hard, and the linemen were just they were blowing them off the ball. And, and when you can do that, you know anybody can stand back there and 
and run that show. They pretty much came out how we scouted them, and uh, I mean, they're, they're a good team. I think, that, you know, the breaks that they had earlier, I, I think that they were probably, you know, our mistakes more than, than their, their good play, but uh, they didn't really do anything to confuse us. I mean, we, we, we moved the ball well. I think on offense, I, I think defense did a hell of a job when they when they came out and they, in, they, in the second half, they had some trouble in the first half, but, and they came out and they played great and, you know, started getting some sacks and put some pressure on them. And, you know, it's exciting to, to, to finish in the fourth quarter like we did also, and uh, which we've been having problems with. I think that uh, that's a big game. You know, we we talk about this all the time. We still believe that we have a chance, and uh, a lot of scenarios could happen. Uh, like we talked about today, if we don't win today, they can't happen. So we won today, and they, we're still hanging by a thread. Uh, next week's going to be important. It's going to be a big ball game, big shootout. Uh, we'll respond. I, I really think we will. We'll have a. Uh, We'll have a hard time. Texas got a good football team. They're playing extremely well right now. But I think our guys respond. I really do. I think it'll be a heck of a ball game. And uh, I know one thing, we're all looking forward to it. And that is sort of what it's all about. It'll be a sellout. And it'll, be a, you know, it'll be a total energetic crowd. And so it'll be a lot of fun. So we, uh, and that is what it's all about. It, it really is. That's, that's a great, great situation to be in, to get to go play uh, one of those good teams in, in your stadium with a, with a stands full of your fans. It's a pretty good deal.